Hello, dear children! We are back again with Read Along. So, do you still remember Monk Travels? The other part we read before? So, now it's the second part. And then, we will see what adventures Monk will have this time. Okay? Who you are is always okay. There was a glittering rainbow with pretty clouds in the silver sky. Could it rain? Monkey asked his good buddy Lewis. Buddy Lewis said, let's stay outside. It could be more fun when it rains. We can put on our special coats and to keep warm and dry. They both played like raindrops splashing in the puddles of clear, clear water. They were singing and dancing to peanut butter and jelly boots. Their funny rhyme while swinging about having a great time. They grinned at each other, sharing that special feeling. Things always change, so keep being happy. Monkey was learning so many brand new exciting things. It was so enjoyable, like picking and eating big, fat, red, juicy plums. He thought about the plum tree and how amazing nature works. In the autumn, it would gently shake off its flowers into the wind and they would fly away and come back again in springtime, like a beautiful magic show for the world to see. Then the flowers would change into fresh fruit to eat. Yum, yum, yums! Smile for a mile and dance a lot. I'm such a pure monk chicken. Shall we begin? With a happy heartbeat and a great big grin? We can all skip together and smile for a mile. We can all play together and laugh for a while. Let's come and do a dance like a jumpy monkey. Down the garden path where it's a little bit bumpy. Tulips are flowers that we can smell for hours. Flying through the space with our superpowers. Monkey's friends could sing and dance all day long, bouncing and playing to Monkey's funny song. Don't give up. Monkey was given a sparkly new present by his family. It was a grand puzzle. How exciting! He unwrapped the large orange box and placed the big colorful pieces on the picnic table. Some of the pieces seemed like they didn't fit but he believed they must fit somehow. Monkey kept trying different ways to finish the puzzle. His hard work was worth it. He felt proud as he finally finished it all by himself. It was a loving golden angel with wings like a friendly white bird. She was smiling at the monkey. Every day with everything be better. Monkey was safely at home with his loving family who were always there for him. Opening their arms wide, he gave him a big warm hug and threw him in the air cheering. Monkey, you look so bright. You have brought back the light from the moon to the stars. Monkey had traveled afar only to find the journey home as sweet as the fresh squishy berries they were sharing together. Sleepy Monkey had a big stretch while rubbing his fluffy tummy. Then he curled up under his li little soft blanket and slowly drifted into dream, ready for another adventure. The end. Okay, so Monkey had great adventures, don't we think? You know that he learned that who you are is always okay. You can be yourself. You don't need to think about what others might judge you. You can just be yourself. And monkey learned too that chains are good. Sometimes we, we are afraid of the chains, but some chains come and bring, bring good things for us. And to have fun. When change happens to our lives, we need to learn how to have fun in different ways. But, monkey gave us a lesson as well. Say, don't give up. 
you need to continue what you are doing. Sometimes it's hard. To work from home is hard. To not have your teacher beside you is hard. Your friends that you like to, to play with and you have some fun at school. But you keep going. You don't give up. And then he discovered that his family is a gift. That the best thing was to go back home and have his bed and his things around him and his parents and all his family members around him that loved him. So that adventure stops here. But Monkey discovered many things and I hope that this helped you to discover as well that we can keep going and we can take advantage of the chains and we love our family and they love us as well. Okay, so now I want to talk to you about the houses. How many of you are uh, marking the competitions online in the forums? The guidance department made this challenge to see the healthiest house of 2020. So, do you see that I have my shirt today? I am Bugu. So, go Bugu! But I'm cheering for all the houses, okay? So, you can see that if you do 15 minutes of vigorous exercise, you have points. If you do 5 minutes video chat with a friend, you get points. Uh, if you write 5 things that you are uh, thankful for in a day, you get points and so on. You have the list there. If you get 8 hours of sleep or sat in the sun for some time or try to do something new or complete all the work from the school before 5 o'clock and so on. You can get points. So don't forget to do this challenge and get points for your house. See you next time. Bye.